men must accept women as human beings and not sex objects. While the 90s was a brighter time for male anti-heroes, it was a decidedly darker time for their female counterparts. When you see the sexualization of female characters in mainstream superhero comics really take off is the 1990s, and there are a number of reasons for why it happened at that time. Most of the comic writers and artists are male, and, and also mostly white, and the fan base had become that in large part as well. You have the loosening of the comics code in 1989. It no longer banned uh, suggestive posing of women or exaggerated female characteristics. And you have a backlash against feminism. Since her allegations against Thomas were made public, she has received several threats. It is worth having the truth emerge. And when you put all of these elements together, you have hyper-muscular, hyper-athletic males and you have hypersexualized females. Fancy powers and big explosions and big two-page spreads and how big could you make the girls' boobs? That was the worst time for women in comics, both as creators and as characters and as readers, because what were women going to read? You know, if they open a comic and the picture is so insulting to them, they're not going to want to buy the comic. The men were really roidy, the women were really busty, everyone's waist became thoroughly unnatural, and everyone was posing all the time. Any sort of sense of natural humanity was kind of lost at the expense of aggressive power. When the women had breasts the size of their heads and, and that pose that is now called the broke back pose, a woman's behind is facing you as the reader, but she is turned so that both of her upper body curves are facing you as well. And of course, your back would have to be broken to pose like that in real life. These guys were not looking at real women. They were drawing their own bizarre fantasies of what a woman should look like. And no woman ever looked like that. And when you look in the 90s and you look at drawings of pencil thin, super long-legged women wearing essentially underwear. And it seems like it's coming from men in order to titillate and in order to appeal to a younger audience just to give them a boner. Then it sort of feels disingenuous.